recently when I was working on the interior on old Spence here, I went after kind of fixing up the glove box. It's very typical on these 123s, there's some glove box issues. And one of them is this plastic liner that sits right here on the inside. And you can see there's a little nut there. And that's a special little nut right there. And that's to tighten down on the plastic and also tighten down on this hinge. And you can move this door in and out so you can adjust the gap opening. But what happens after this gets loosened and tightened a few times, the hole gets enlarged. There is a little piece of plastic that's originally down low here that holds tight against this nut. Well, most of these 123 glove boxes now, these are all elongated. I thought, yeah, I gotta come up with something, so I did. And this is what I came up with. Here's the original nut. You can see it's kind of a special slotted round nut. And we make this special screwdriver right here so you can loosen and tighten that nut. But you can see the nut just falls right through the hole there. So I made this right here. That's my new gizmo. And if you notice, that covers the hole. And now when you tighten this down, you're not only tightening down the hinge, but you're tightening down this damaged plastic. So it won't rattle, because if that hole elongates, then this piece will not be tight and it will rattle. So come on over on the left side here and you can see what it looks like with this new special nut installed. So if you're having problems, not only with this part, but with the latch mechanism, I have kits on my website that can help you get your 123 glove box working properly. So now I can show you how this is replaced. I'll get the screwdriver with the two points on it and get it right in on this original nut. We're gonna back this out. And notice once this is removed, watch the glove box. See, it can move in and out. And that's where you can adjust the opening by moving this in and out after you've loosened it and then tighten it. So now I'll take this one, set it in place. Okay, we're gonna run it down. Now I'm not gonna tighten it yet. I'm gonna just snug it down and then I'm gonna check opening. I'm trying to line up the wood here. See, it needs to come up a little bit more. Let's check it again. Uh, a little bit more. Okay. That's about as high as that hinge goes. I need to tighten the latch and I can adjust that here, but I'm gonna also have to probably adjust this side once I get this latch to hold this in tight. Now's a good time to test the glove box light. You want to turn your key on and when you push this in right here that should turn the light off. Make sure it's off. You can look down in the crack here and then when you open the door the light will come on. On the W123 glove box door you have multiple adjustments to get this door to close tightly and to align properly. You have these two nuts down here which can move this side to side and up and down. You have the catch right here for the latch that has two screws and you can move this in and out. And then these two stops are adjustable. You can get a screwdriver and you can move these in and out so that when you close it, it's gonna be tight and not rattle. Now I do want to caution you, if you are a W123 owner with one of these glove boxes, the weakness on these is right here in this plastic pin. That will break off and this clip will fly off and then this won't work properly. I have a kit on my website on how to repair this if the pin hasn't been totally broken off. And I'll put a link 
to that kit below in the description. So in closing, I just want to admonish you 123 owners, don't slam this shut. Because slamming this shut is what breaks this right here. So you have to get in the habit when you want to close your door, just bring it up, push this to the left, and release. And if you just take the time to do that, your old glove box door is going to last a lot longer.